everybody, Tom Vassell here, and I wanted to talk real briefly about Roy Canada's game Last Light, which is currently on GameFound. I don't often do this. In fact, I pretty much never do it. Roy is an employee of the Dice Tower. He's my video editor, and he kept the game even like a secret for me that he was designing it for a while because he wanted to wait till it was done. Well, that's not really possible <laughs> with the way uh, crowdfunding goes these days, so I was able to play it. And... One of the things that Roy has got on my case, probably rightfully so over the past you know, years of my life here, is that I don't really push my own stuff very hard because it feels weird. It feels weird for me to push my design games, nothing personal. It feels weird for me to push sometimes the Dice Tower Essential line that I work on, and I should push those things. But it just feels like a weird thing to push your own games. And this, I knew that this last light would put me in kind of a weird position because I have to trash games on a regular basis that I don't really care for. And I will say bad things about a game, even if it's somebody's game that that person might be a good friend of mine. Well, Roy's a very good friend. He's a friend, a colleague, um, my employee. And so this is kind of a weird thing. But, you know, a lot of people have asked me what I thought about the game. And I think at this point in time, you would trust me enough to know that I'm not going to pull punches on these sorts of things. Now, I'm not going to give the game any kind of rating because I always save that for when the game is actually produced. I can't speak to the production, although I like a lot of the Gray Fox things that they have done. I can only talk about the gameplay that I went through. Now, you know that I'm not a, uh, that I feel, or maybe you don't know, but I definitely have feel that the 4X. Uh, type of game, the Explore, Exterminate, whatever they're called, all the X's are, that doing those games, they're fun, but they always take a really long time. And the idea of doing one in a short period of time is kind of that mythical holy grail. Look, the fact is, Roy has pulled it off. He really has. Now, I've seen some people say, well, that's technically not these, all these X's. You know what? It doesn't matter. He's pulled it off. It works. It goes off in a short period of time. That, that's the best thing about the game. You are constantly doing stuff. It's a simultaneous selection. It takes a lot of mechanisms I really like and puts it in that time frame. I wasn't bored for one second of the game. It plays pretty well. And adding in extra players isn't going to, I mean, it's going to add a little bit of time, but not that much. And this has been consistently the case as the game has been demoed over the past couple years. And this time, this is a huge deal. Roy is easily one of the smartest gamers I've ever played against. He knows his games. When I play a game with Roy, he's going to figure it out and beat all of us at it. He knows his games, and you can see that here. But I didn't find the game to be complex or overwhelming, and yet it has a bit of a tiny, epic feel to it when you play through this game. I said I can't speak for components, but man, those little marble planets in the, on the rotating board, that's fantastic. I like the theming of the game. I think the aliens are very, very well differentiated from each other. And so I like the game. And I think you, if you're watching this, should consider backing this. And again, I want to be really clear that I'm not saying this as a, oh, I like Roy, we should all give Roy some support. No, I'm saying because it's a decent uh, not decent, it's a very good game. If you're looking for simultaneous selection and going out and flying spaceships around, fighting with each other with a fun, fast combat, exploring and getting more technology, multiple ways to win, this all comes together in a really good package. I'm really proud of Roy for what he's done. He's done a fantastic job here. And I've seen a lot of people are supporting the project on GameFan, and I think they're going to be really happy with the final product. But I thought at the same time that I would be doing a disservice to Roy if I kept my opinion to myself. Whatever. You don't believe that I like the game. That doesn't matter to me. But you should know by now on my channel that I call a spade a spade. And I thought this was a good game. There's a lot of cool things going on in it. There's a, I mean, you can watch our game plan. We did a very frenetic paced game and everything. But before the game started, Roy explained it to us in about 20 minutes. We got going. We played through it. I had fun the whole time. I was like, yes, finally there's one of these games out there that can handle a lot of players and play in a short period of time. I mean, we're doing a top 10 this week of games for six players. This game could easily make that list once it's published. So check out Last Light from Roy Canaday. It is going to be a game that's going to be very critically acclaimed, I think, and for good reason. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. 
We'll put a link in the description below where if you want to back it, you can. But I think you won't be disappointed. Um, man, the, 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 the movement, the attacking, everything just made sense. It all came together. And um, yeah, cool, cool job. Good job, Roy. Until next time, folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.